five ways you can use ChatGPT OpenAI for your photography or filmmaking business. What's up guys, Jordan Kress is here, co-owner of the WLMA, the most result-based business mastermind for wedding photographers and filmmakers worldwide. We've helped a lot of our students scale to the six-figure and multiple six-figure level. And today I'm gonna to be doing part two on my chat GPT open AI series that I did for photographers and filmmakers, how you can use it in your business. If you haven't seen part one, make sure to subscribe and look it up. A lot of people like that video. Today, I'm going to be going more specific on ways you can use this for your business. But before I get started, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more of our content. I'm going to dive in right now. Now I'm on chat.openai.com slash chat. And there's a ton of ways that you can be creative and use chat GPT. I'm going to be going over five ways you can do it. So the first of five that you can use this for your photography or filmmaking business is actually for contracts. So let's say you're a wedding photographer or filmmaker, you really want to refine your current contract or make a contract that covers all baselines. You can find a lot of inspiration and find a core of how you want to create that from here and continue refining. So let's say um, I'm over here and I say, make a wedding photography contract where there is a non-refundable 50% deposit. And now it's starting to build the wedding photography contract with a non-refundable 50% deposit. That is so cool. I'm not going to read it. You can pause it if you want, but I'm not gonna read it because I wanna make this a quick video. And what you can do with these contracts is pretty much now at this point, you can copy this contract and then you can refine it to exactly your liking as you need. That's one of five. Now, number two of five of how you can use ChatGPT for your photography or filmmaking business is for email replies and email templates. So let's say you got a refund request from a wedding photography client that goes against your contract. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask ChatGPT this, right? an email reply to a client asking for a refund that goes against our contract. Thank you for contacting us regarding your request for a refund. As stated in our contract, we have a non-refundable deposit policy. And it goes on, you know, writing this email in a really polite, professional way as well. So if you ever get difficult clients where you're not sure how to respond to things, chat GPT can be huge to figuring out ways that you can respond to that client. Let's say you don't like the way it responded and you want to go with a different tone. We can say this, write the same thing, but in a happier, more pleasant tone. So now it's writing the same email response, but in a little bit more of an uplifting tone. This is so fast. So cool how quickly it's able to do this. Thank you for reaching out to us regarding your request for a refund. While we do have a non-refundable deposit policy in place, we want to assure you that we are dedicated to providing the best possible service for your special day. The deposit is necessary to ensure our services and ensure that we are able to adequately prepare your, for your event. We understand that unexpected circumstances can arise and we are always willing to work with our clients to find a solution that works for everyone. If you have any further questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact us. We are looking forward to looking for you and capturing beautiful memories on your special day. So think about the different types of emails that you get from clients that are maybe difficult situations. Think on how you can use this to come out with the best responses that you want. Now, point three of five of how we can use chat GPT for your photography or filmmaking business. You can use this to optimize the SEO on your website. So let's say you live in New York City and you want to find more keywords you can put in the header of your website or in your blogs to help with your rankings on Google. We can ask chat GPT something like this. What keywords should I put on my website to rank higher on Google for wedding photographers in New York City? To rank higher on Google for wedding photographers in New York City, you should include the following keywords on your website. And it just gave you about 10 bullet points of the keywords that you should have on your website. You can make sure all of these you know, are on your headers, um, everything you talk about on your About Me page, on your blog posts, etc. So it said right here, in addition to using these keywords on your website, you should also include them in your page titles, headings, and alt text for images. It is also important to ensure that your website content is high quality and relevant for your target audience. Additionally, having high quality backlinks from other reputable sites can also help improve search engine rankings. Absolutely amazing. So 
Let's say you're using this to rank higher on Google, making sure you have the right keywords on your website. So part four of five of how you can use ChatGPT OpenAI is through blogging. And I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to write a, a SEO friendly blog on the top wedding venues in New York City. So let's see how that comes out. I'm a wedding photographer. Can you write an SEO friendly blog of the top wedding venues in New York City? Let's see what it comes up with. So cool. And so now it is coming up with an entire blog, you know, with a hook, with an intro, with bullet points of the top wedding venues in New York City, keeping in mind to keep it SEO friendly to help with rankings on Google. I'm not going to read the whole article. I want to make this video short, but you can pause it and read it if you want. Now, as I mentioned in the earlier video, you can't just copy an entire blog you know, from chat GPT and post it on your blog. Google won't actually let you do that. And I always recommend using these types of tools mainly for inspiration as well. So you're not just copying it, you know, there's nothing authentic to you. So let's say this, you love this blog, you're gonna spice it up yourself. You just wanna kind of use it as inspiration. You can ask GPT something like this, write this again, but, but in more concise bullet points. So now it's writing that blog again, now just in bullet points. So if you just wanna use it for inspiration, come up with your own stuff, now you can write the blog with your own more authentic twist on your own, which I recommend doing. Now, way five of five off of how you can use chat GPT in your photography or film making business. You can actually use it for coding on your website. So for me, I'm not a coder. Sometimes there's things on the website that I want to do, but I don't know how to do. So let's say, you know, you have a wedding photography website on Squarespace and for a landing page, you want to get rid of the navigation at the top. Let's ask GPT on to create a code for us to get rid of the navigation on the top of a Squarespace landing page. Can you create a code to get rid of the navigation on a Squarespace landing page? <laughs> That's insane. So now it said to remove the navigation from a Squarespace landing page, you can use the following code. And I just put the code right over there. To use this code, you will need to add it to your Squarespace site's custom CSS and to continue to give more directions. That's so cool. I've actually seen people code entire video games with this website as well. There's so much you can do with this website. It's just in the beginning phases and it's just going to get better. So those are five ways you can use ChatGPT for your photography or filmmaking business. You can use it to make contracts. You can use it to respond to tough emails, build up your SEO, blog, even code. And those are just touching the surface of what you can fully get out of. This is such a new website, a new AI as well, and it's just going to get better. Curious what you guys will use it for? Comment below on how you want to use this program for your business. And if you like this video and you saw it helpful, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment any questions that you have, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more of our content. And if you want to learn more on how we have helped a lot of our wedding photographers and filmmakers, you know, scale to the six figure and multiple six figures, I have a free training that you can check out a free training and a free SEO guide that you can check out in the description of this YouTube video. Anyways, guys, hope you guys found this video entertaining and helpful, and I'll see you on the next one.